Hello everyone, this is Rick Merman with Mercer Technologies and this is the Mercer Minute. If there's a topic you'd like to see me cover, please leave me a message down below and I'll be happy to get to it. Okay, so up until now, I have had the default splash screen with the default pictures and default instructions on my Mercer pod. This is how the pod comes out of the box. But what happens if we want to put a custom background in? What happens if we want to put several custom pictures in? What happens if we have custom instructions that we want to write? We, we think this is going to be confusing for our end users. We want to brand it. We want to put our brand colors. We want to have things highlighted, underlined, pop out. We've got a, a certain way that we want to portray this to our end users, and we want them to be able to connect to a pod easily. Well, we can do that and put custom instructions in as well as a custom background and modify this entire screen here with Solstice Cloud. I'm going to show you how we do that today. So let me share my screen with us here. And we've seen this many times. I'm on my cloud account right now. I'm going to go to my pods. You can see the pod that we're going to be messing with today is the Rick's Demo Pod 2. So I'm going to pull that up. And we want to uh, start to modify the welcome screen. Now, one thing you'll notice right away on the left hand side, we've got the six pictures. These are the default background uh, layouts that come with the pod. We're going to modify this. So I'm going to pretend that we just have one single image that we want. Again, you could load up six images in the interest of time. We'll just do one here today. I'm going to click on this guy and let's here. We'll load in town here. Uh, I am going to save that. And what that's going to do is it is now loaded in my cloud account. It's going to pull down to the pod and you're going to see the desktop background change in just a few seconds here. Uh, as well, oh, actually it's doing it right now. So here we go. We can see the photograph has already changed. Now we've got our new background. Okay. Let's take that a step further. If we take a look at what's on the right hand side, we can start to modify the footer options. The footer is the banner that's around the bottom of the screen. We can, show it on the welcome screen or not show it on the welcome screen. We can put the room name in it. We can put the IP address in it. We can put the screen key in it. We can modify that however we want. I'm going to leave it on its default settings, but again, you can see that you could change this in any way that you want. We also have some main screen options. We can show the clock. We can show the room name. We can show the screen key. We could remove all those things if we wanted to. Again, I'm going to leave it on default here, but you can change that in any way that you want. So let's dig into the interesting part of this, which is the custom instructions. So it's on default by default, and we're going to go to the custom instructions tab here. And here is a rich text field of which you can type anything you want. You can highlight it. You can underline it. You can bold it. You can put uh, custom uh, colors in if you wish. You can do numbering. You can do it however you wish. Uh, and the other thing that's really interesting about this, if you don't want to type in the individual name for each one of your pods, you could just put a bracket and write room name in there and it'll automatically pull the room name for the pod. This might not be so interesting from a one pod deployed at a time statement, but when we start doing templates, which is going to be my next Mercer Minute video, I'm going to show you how you can push this out and it'll automatically populate the room name for all of your pods and display it. I've got some custom instructions that I wrote up here that I'm going to paste in. Let's take a look at them. Right now, it's a, I've got my Ethernet network name, which is going to automatically pull the network name. I actually made that in bold, so we can take a look at that. I did the IP address. Again, I put that in bold, put some brackets around it, so it'll automatically pull the IP. And then I have some a tip below here on being able to stash things over to the dock. Let's say I don't want to have it orange. We're going to just select a different color here. Let's do bright yellow for the fun of it. And I'm going to scroll that up to the top, and we're going to save this. So again, it's saving to the cloud and it's going to automatically download to the pod here in just a second. In fact, why don't we go to the all camera view here and you can see it already pulled. So we've got my tip that is in all yellow. It looks kind of good actually with this photograph on the left. Um, we have my custom instructions. We've got the bold written out here so we can take a look at that. I could change this however I wanted. And what's even more interesting in that than that, I could save this as a template, which we're going to show you in the next Mercer Minute video, and load it to all of my pods at once. I could change them all without having to go into each one individually. For more information about this, please visit Mercer.com. Again, this is Rick Merman with Mercer Technologies, and we'll talk again soon.